everyone, it's Desiree, and yes, it is time for another Scrappy Tales showcase release. Sabrina has done it again. Not that we don't expect that to happen. This collection is huge. It is absolutely huge. She, I don't believe she sleeps. So, but I broke it up into Halloween and fall. So, let's go through the fall first. She has so much in this collection. She's got stamps. She has coordinating dies for those stamps. She has hot foils and coordinating dies and stencils and more dies and more pop-ups and two very special kits. Okay. Um, so let's just dive right in. I will walk you through them. I've made my notes and you will see me fumbling through this. So this may be a little long. It's definitely going to be Gabby as I explain it. I don't have any samples to show, but I do encourage you to please make sure you go to her channel. I will have it linked down below. She is doing, I believe, a whole preview um, tonight. Um, so again, I will have it linked down below and she has already gotten her uh, samples made and how things work and all of that fun stuff. So I encourage you to go check it out. I encourage you to go to her Facebook page for Scrappy Tales where she has shown just some beautiful items. So again, I just like to say it's going to be Gabby. I don't have any samples made. Just want to show you the products we're going to walk through. And of course, I'll have a link down to her shop if you want to be nosy. Um, to see everything as well through her store. So let's start out. Yes, she has another six by six paper pad and this is called Harvest Blessings. I'm going to move this out of my way. All right. So again, 24 sheets, 12 designs, four of each design. Um, they are double sided, which is great. And here we go. And you can see the double-sided, she's got the prints from her collection that are in here and then some coordinating prints that will match beautifully. She has a full um, size image as well, which makes a perfect card. All you have to do is just cut that and have some fun with it. Beautiful fall colors, yellows, golds, browns, greens, deep reds. I want to say like a brick red. So these aren't super bright colors. Um, these colors are just perfect for fall. So six by six paper pad. We have a stencil. This is a layering sunflower stencil. It is three parts. So you can see you've got your first layer and then you have your second layer that will come up on that and you can see how it's lining up and then you have this is actually your second layer and then that one goes on top of that. So that is a stencil set and you also can get, I have my notes everywhere, I told you. <laughs> a die that goes with that stencil. This is sold separately, um, so you can actually get a die that will match the image that you stencil. So I thought that was really cool and great. Up next, we have a stamp set. This is called Horsing Around. These are beautiful image images, and she draws these. She actually draws these. They are absolutely beautiful, um, beautiful images. And there are coordinating dies for this stamp set. Now know that whenever she does have a stamp set um, with coordinating dies, you can buy them separately or you can buy them as a set with a little bit of a savings. So just so you know that. This here is called the Wild Sunflower. It is a six by six stamp set. 
beautiful detailed images, great for coloring, whether you like to use your alcohol markers, your watercolors, or colored pencils. And then, of course, a coordinating die set as well. She has gone into the hot foil. So these are three great pumpkins. Um, different sizes. This one actually has a sentiment built in that says, Happy Fall, y'all. And then there is a coordinating die available as well. And again, even with the hot foils, you can get these individually or you can buy them as a bundle. This here is the Harvest Wheat. So you have this great stalk of wheat. She has the separate band die that you can put here in a different color. And then she has a single stalk that you can put in here as well to add layers and dimension to your die cutting. This here is a pop-up. And I believe, yes, I will show you this one as well. So these are two of the pop-ups. This is the staircase pop-up. So this here is the slim line. This is the A7. You have some sentiments in here as well. Um, thinking of, grateful, blessed, thankful for you, happy birthday, thanks, just because. So very universal, not just for fall. It's great for all occasions. She's made sure of that. And again, this just creates a step in front of your card. And again, it's A7 and for slimline. We have more adorable animals. These are barn animals. So we've got a chicken, we've got a goat, we've got a horse, a cow, a pig, no sheep. And then all of these little pieces, wow, I'm going to lose one of those dies. All of these little pieces will create dimension for each of your pieces. So here are the cow spots. We've got the hooves. We've got the, the top part for the goat. I mean, all of these pieces here are made to layer. Here's the mane and the tail for the horse. So you, she takes care of, instead of die cutting this main piece here, multiple colors and having to cut it, she has taken care of that for you with these pieces that you can layer up. But that doesn't mean that you can't do that, that you don't, that you don't have to, or you can't use multiple card stocks and create your own image. Here we have the A7 Harvest Blessings plate beautiful die cut sentiment that is connected into the frame it can be cut if you would want to do that and then we have our pumpkins um, and a, just a beautiful design this is perfect for her book plate pop-up um, if you're looking to make that more assorted leaves and these are our fall leaves and she is even taking care of the centers of these leaves again we can add layers to them um, so that we can get those different colors so here's the center for this one this is the center for this one this one goes here um, and again they just all layer up beautifully so this is a great for her other leaf assortments, um, she has one for just a leaf assortment. She's got a holiday leaf assortment. So this is a great addition to that collection. Nope, we are not done. This is the layering sunflower. So layering dyes, you have to love layering dyes. They give you dimension and texture all at once as you use your different colors of cardstock or make your own cardstock using your sprays, your dyes, your watercolors to create your layers for your sunflowers. For your slim lines, this is the farm countryside plate. So here we have the fence, here's the plate itself, and then we have a barn. Um, we can have our windmill, our tree, um, a horse galloping, and we can create a beautiful scene all with die cuts. And then our next pop-up. So this pop-up here, you will get these two. This is called the barn pop-up. So there's your barn, um, and that'll be your front, 
and of course it's one of those pop-up cards but this is great and boy do i see this going on to the halloween side very quickly so awesome that is the fall side okay let's look at the halloween side let me put this back into my sleeve or else i will lose everything see i told you it's gonna be a long video because i'm gonna fumble through things there we go okay halloween i love halloween i, I love halloween dies it's, it's second to christmas um, when it comes to that okay so let's look at this we have another six by six paper pad and it is called happy haunting again i'm going to move that off to the side beautiful papers beautiful designs you'll see these images throughout the halloween collection love the colors of the green and the yellow and the purple um, and the black of course and even two-tone blacks uh, which is great. We've got ghosts. We've got bats. We've got spiders um, We've got cobwebs. I love the purple and black that is just like my favorite go-to combination And then when we add that in there, oh, yeah, I'm in heaven with that So beautiful images again. Here's an image where you could just cut it put that on your card Let your pattern paper do the work for you guys. It is one of the best things um, to make for your card fronts just add that sentiment and you are all set so great pattern paper pack again 24 sheets 12 designs four of each and as you saw they were double-sided stencils we have two stencils on the Halloween side we have the bats these are the flying bats and we have the wonky spider web. Great size. These are six by six. Um, you could even layer these up, get your spider web down, and then put your bats coming up along it. That would be awesome. But you do have two stencils here for this collection. And again, let me put these back in. And they're nice and sturdy. Um, I mean, I love stencils, um, but sometimes they can be really flimsy, and I break them. Yes, I do. Okay, let's get into our stamps and coordinating dies. This is called the spider whips. Look, which, <laughs> my words are difficult today. Beautiful image, perfect to color. Again, using your alcohol markers, your colored pencils, your watercolors it's a beautiful nice size image with some great matching nice size sentiments if the shoe fits get the matching hat and broom absolutely you say which like it's a bad thing we've got spiders we've got a web and yes there is a coordinating die um, for this set as well here we have a lot of images and this one is called the witch's brew it is a six by six stamp set two cute witches here we've even gone into a uh, with some nice pairs of heels there i'm liking that if only my waist was that thin wouldn't that be awesome okay but we've got a cauldron we've got the broom we've got the shoes the hat some potions lots of potions here a great shelf to stack them up a cat um, and an emblem oh, I forget what that's called it's a okay we'll just keep going with it but some great images some great sem uh, sentiments going on here and coordinating dies are also available here okay getting my next thing here if I can which I'm having problems okay we are on the glimmer side glimmer foil this is a beautiful a7 plate this is a beautiful almost solid sorry for the glare um, solid plate on the background from all of the spider webs you have an individual web some spiders and then uh, greetings and then spooky for your sentiment 
There is also a coordinating die for this set. So you will have a die for the sentiments, for the plate itself, the separate spider web, and the spiders themselves. So that is absolutely gorgeous. We also have some Halloween animals here. We have an owl, a bat hanging upside down, some cats, a wolf, and again, same thing, these separate pieces that she has taken care of for you so that you can add your colors of cardstock to them. What's Halloween without ghosts? Gotta have ghosts. Need to have ghosts. They're just adorable. Different shapes, different sizes. These are cute ghosts, mini ghosts. Now, if you like the eerie and creepy, here's those eerie and creepy ghosts. Um, these are just great with all of these um, shreds of fabric coming off of it. Again, you can have the best of both worlds with those. We also have the Halloween essentials. So Halloween, we should have bats, spiders, and cobwebs. So just with this one as well, you are sure to be able to make many cards um, for the Halloween season. Here we have an A7 Witch on the Hill cover plate. So here, here's your frame, this outside with the web and the tombstones. And then you have this plate here with the witch that can go in the back of this. And then you have some bubbles for the cauldron, some bats, a spider, a moon. Um, you've got a crow, a crow that's already built in on here. So again, this would work really well, five by seven card, or it will work well with that book pop-up, potion book. Here is the Spooky Halloween Cemetery Gate. Again, it's an A7 size, so it will fit on a 5x7. Now, you can... <coughs> Excuse me. Matter of fact, no, this is a regular size. So, if I get just a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, yes, that will fit on an A2 size. It'll just be a little bit off, but you can get that on an A2 size card base my fault sorry um and you can just have fun building that up you have some some uh some sentiments keep out beware and then cemetery you have a skull a bat a lock um and then you can add your lights to this <coughs> so sorry here we have the halloween haunted castle we can make anything haunted. Why not a castle? It doesn't have to be for fairies. Nope, absolutely not. Or princesses. We can make it for Halloween. I love this sentiment. I love that font. Happy Halloween. And then you've got that castle. A few bats here, but you can have a lot of fun when putting this together. And again, that will fit on an A2 card base. Sorry about that. Had to get my water. So for slim lines. So here we have the Slimline Graveyard Borders. So we have this one here with some spooky trees, some tombstones, and then we have this one as well where it looks like um, it's uh, a fence going along that as well. You can layer these absolutely and have fun with all of that texture. We also have for Slimlines a beautiful Slimline spider web cover plate. So this will cut out a very much detailed spider web and then we can add our spiders to it, cut them out of glitter cardstock and just have all kinds of fun with that. For those of you that love and still work with the storefront, here is the Halloween add-on to the A7 storefront. Here we have the Beware in an awesome font. We have Caution, Caution, Tombstones, Tombstone-looking windows, a beautiful gate, a tree, some ghosts, some bats, some cover, you name it, it is sitting in here. So you can have a lot of fun creating your Halloween house. Create multiple, now you've got a village that's going on in your house, which is awesome. Okay. She has designed 
two kits for this release. The first kit is called the Harvest, the Deluxe Harvest Blessing Kit. Everything that I am pulling out is going to be in that kit and has been set up for that kit. Now this is just the stamp set. The die set is not included. And both, okay, so we're just going to do it this way. <laughs> Everything wants to fight me today, guys. And we have this. This is what's going to come in your Deluxe Harvest Blessing card kit, plus beautiful yellow pearls. They are iridescent and they are pearls. They, they, and all different sizes are in there. So this is this kit that she has put together. Again, using products from her release, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Her next kit is a limited edition Halloween. Now this is the stamp set, <clears throat> which is brew um, minus the die. So you get the stamp set. You're going to get your Halloween animals, the wonky spider stencil, the happy haunting paper pad, a beautiful mix. These are pumpkins and gold rings and black bats and all kinds of goodness. And you're going to get these great bright gems in purple, green, orange, and black, and they are iridescent. This here is the Halloween card kit. Now, she also, she never stops there, right? Okay, if you should spend, trying to find my lists here, okay. If you should spend $75 in her shop, you will receive the Flying Bat Stencil for free. If you should spend over $150 or more, you will receive this adorable die that says Happy Fall, y'all. It looks like the, the hot foil plate um, on the fall, one of the pumpkins of, their, of her pumpkin trio there. So again, if you spend $75, you will get the Flying Bats. And if you spend over $150, you will receive this die. Guys, that is her collection. It's, it's an amazing, amazing collection. Um, there is just so much into this. Um, she packs so much into her shop when she has a new release. It just is endless. Again, I know this is long, but look at what we're showing. Again, if you want to check out her shop, I will have the link to it down below. I also do encourage you to check out her YouTube channel. She always shows just how easy it is to put um, her pop-ups together and how she works through her kits and so on. So I encourage you to check that. Again, I believe uh, that is happening tonight and it is the 12th of August. <laughs> so make sure I'll have her YouTube channel down below um, so that you can see all of the wonderful products and the samples that she has. Everybody enjoy, have fun, and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm truly grateful. Um, I hope you enjoyed just doing a little window shopping here when it comes to a new release. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy making your art, have fun, 
But most of all, and always remember what's most important, always, be creative, guys. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Till then.